There's Remington and Rusty. Rusty's kind of a jackass. He, um, if you yell at him, he just goes and picks on the other dogs to repay the favor, I guess. Um, so, what I've got to do is repair this landscape rake. I bought it from Tractor Supply. It's the county line. It says it's good up to a 50 horsepower. Well, this is a you know, supposed 50 horsepower tractor that I have it on, Landra 5010. So it's, um, yeah, it was definitely too much power for it. I was pushing brush up and it just twisted it pretty good. I actually uh, broke one time pushing backwards and bent this other one and, and pretty much just, you know, did my best to mangle it. So what I'm going to do is uh, rebuild it, and I'm going to build it longer because when I'm scraping the road, we got a bunch of snow. It doesn't stick out past the past the tire at all, so I can't get out past the edge. I can only scrape to where I'm actually, you know, where my tires touch. So what I need to do is be able to get out over the edge of the ditch and either pull the gravel back in or scrape beyond the actual ditch itself. So what um. What I'm going to do is I bought some C-channel, some heavier duty C-channel. It's a little bit thicker, so that should be better. And I'm actually debating whether to weld a 2x4 uh, like on the top, do like quarter inch 2x4, and, and that would definitely stiffen it up. I could uh, drill some clearance holes to um, drop the bolts all the way through and still have them just bolt through this section so I don't have to have, you know, 6 inch bolts, which would be pretty weak. Um, the one bolt is missing because I'm going to go get two others. So I'm going to rebuild it. I'm going to make it eight feet wide. This is six foot wide. And um, we'll see. I bought the bottom piece and I have bought, the, you know, the part that clamps. I have bought some extra tines. So we'll uh, kind of mix and match the tines to get them to where they will, you know, be the eight foot wide. I'm almost thinking I don't need it to be all the way out to you know, what would be the left hand side. I'd like it better to go out over the right hand side and be maybe even with uh you know what would be the driver's side of the tractor although you sit in the middle so if it hung out over this side about an extra foot that'd be great i can scrape over the edge of the road pull some of the gravel back in that i've piled up and do that so that will be this uh series of videos um my only issue is you know i have my shop built but i have no electricity yet the only um the only 220 power I have is on the side of the little shed over there. So if I have to do any welding, it's going to be over there next to it. So, and I will have to do some welding because I need to, uh, looks like there's a pipe structure that's welded, what I call a piece of pipe or tubing. That's welded to the top of this that, you know, kind of acts as a bearing for inside of there to give it some side to side strength. So what I'll probably end up doing is buying a piece of tubing. Uh, there's a there's a, a steel place that's about 40 miles away, I think, something like that, 30 miles away. That's where I bought the uh, the channel. So, yeah, that's about it. We'll uh, try to get that video series going and see how I'm going to do it. And thanks for watching.